Welcome to Sleepy Eyes. I am your host, Varga. I take you on a journey in the dark of the night with warm tales. Take a moment to relax your body and mind with the current calmness. Breathe deeply, feel the energy inside, and let go of any tiredness. Put aside the past and focus on the peacefulness of the present moment. Recognize any tension in your body. Allow it to fade away and unwind. Discover your inner peace and simply unwind in the tranquility of now. Before going to sleep, prepare to read a story comfortably in this peaceful setting. Let the magic of words captivate you as you get lost in a tale or story. With the warmth from this peace and relaxation, your sleep will become even more serene. Close your eyes, embark on a journey with a touch of words. Let each word guide you a bit deeper toward the essence of your inner peace. Now, relax and enjoy the pleasure of getting lost in the enchanting world of the story before drifting into sleep. This story is inspired by the Chronicles of Narnia, the Chronicles of Avalonia by Sleepy Eyes. The endearing lull of suburbia was shattered when an unexpected crash echoed from the Sinclair household. In a room strewn with shreds of wallpaper and dust, a flustered Linda Sinclair stared in disbelief at the disarray. She trailed her gaze to her younger brother Charles who was sheepishly dusting plaster off his ripped jeans. Linda, I swear, I didn't mean to... Charles pleaded. Linda just sighed. He was her little tornado, but she loved him fiercely, despite the constant need to play guardian angel. Come, Charles. We need to clear out this mess before Mom gets home, she instructed, stepping over the wreckage towards the back of the closet, as she cleared away old bunting and forgotten hand-me-downs. Linda stumbled upon an ornately carved wooden door, hidden deep within the closet, its gleaming bronze knob glinting seductively. Charles, did you see this? Linda asked, her voice quivering with intrigue. Their excitement eclipsed the forbidding aura of the door. Linda felt a strange pull, an unfamiliar warmth that radiated from the door. With a quick glance at Charles reassuringly by her side, she turned the knob and cautiously pushed open the door. In an instant, they were whisked away from their home, tossed into another universe where the sky was a wash of lavender hues and the trees dripped with emerald leaves. A kingdom stretched out beneath them, its buildings embedded with precious gems and towers of opalescent marble that reflected the light of twin suns. The kingdom of Avalonia unveiled itself. A dream painting stretched across infinite canopies of silken clouds. Welcome, dear ones. We've been expecting you, a voice hummed, resonating from a magnificent stag standing tall against the celestial sky. The kingdom was a haven of talking animals, blessed with personalities as diverse as their furs and feathers. Charles, ever the adventurer, found this madly enthralling, while Linda, though startled, was intrigued by this enchanted chaos. Yet, Avalonia was drowning under a strangling silent spell that left half of its creatures muted. Their bubbly brooks flowed mute, and chirping of morning birds was merely a distant memory. Linda, the more empathetic Sinclair, felt their plight, the stifled laughter, muffled roars, and unspoken words resonating within her own being. Our soothsayer saw your arrival. He claims you hold the key to lift the silence curse, the stag explained, his glassy eyes brimming with hope. Charles looked at his sister, his usual mischief-laden eyes replaced by a seriousness Linda seldom saw. They were bound by fate, and a bizarre closet door to this conundrum two teenagers standing as the beacon of salvation for another universe, through a string of challenges testing their courage, resilience, and the sacred bond of siblinghood, the duo embarked on their quest, unraveling riddles of the past, befriending a mischievous monkey scholar, outwitting a few crooked crows, 
the Sinclair siblings faced a whirlwind of adventures. With each step, they understood the value of their voices, something which was stripped away from the creatures of Avalonia. Finally, standing against the cursed Silence Eater monster, Linda realized the cure wasn't in any magical potion or enchanted artifact. Avalonia's salvation was buried in the symphony of unified voices, the shared stories, whispers of love, and roars of courage. As the narrative spilled from her lips, voices began to return. Freedom sprung into the air, bringing life back to the silenced kingdom. In the blooming dawn of a new Avalonia, the Sinclair siblings returned home, hearts filled with heroic tales and souls painted with the magic of the talking animals as they peered from their normal closet to the vibrant kingdom the universe of avalonia hummed in harmonic symphony a testament to their victory over the silence a reminder of their heroic quest <laughs>